Welcome back. In this video, you'll learn about one type of loop, the for loop. The for loop is a programming construct that allows us to execute code a predetermined number of times. Before picking apart exactly how the for loop works, let's look at a program that has a simple example of a for loop in it. The code inside the for loop repeats four times, so we print the word hello four times. Watch what happens when we print i instead. Notice that we go from 0 to 3. We'll explain more of this later. OK, a for loop looks like this. You say for i in range, and then some number in parentheses, and then the body of that loop contains code that will repeat the number of times. So as we saw, this prints hello four times. The thing in parentheses just has to be something that evaluates to an integer. It represents the number of times you want to do something. And of course, everything in the body is indented by one level. Now let's look at the for loop for a second. In the for loop, i is actually a variable. More specifically, it's an int variable. It takes on a different number value each time through the loop. It starts at 0 and goes up by 1 each time, but does not include the number given in the range. The range function is what determines what values are assigned to i each time the loop runs. Change the number in range, change what values i reaches before the loop ends. In this case, it reaches 5, which is 1 less than 6. Now it's time to explore in the editor. OK, so let's take a look at some basic loops. So I can say for i in range. Four, and I can print hello. If I run this, we see we get hello four times. We can also say we can use the variable i. Okay, and I can run that, and I see it goes from zero to three. So it prints four times, which is that number four, but it doesn't include the number four. It starts at zero and stops at the number of three. I can also have multiple lines in this block so that I can print different things. So I can say, for example, print value of i. And now it'll run and print multiple lines and execute everything. So as long as I'm indented, it keeps that for loop block going. Now it's your turn to explore.